Hello, this is Petrus Engelbrecht, Senior Vice President of Sales at Sotheby's International Realty. And today I'm having a chat with Andrea Fenikak. Andrea is a blogger, YouTuber, and a yoga teacher. And uh, we're just going to shoot the breeze today and hear how things are with her. And it is awesome weather out there. I can see the sun and shine coming into your house. Andrea, how are you today? Hey, I'm awesome. Thank you so much for having me. It is an awesome day. And wasn't it just such an amazing weekend? I feel like I was in Muskoka or I feel like I've had a bit of a holiday. So today I'm still living a little bit of that high. It is awesome. I had two phenomenal days in a row. And I love uh, even time and date stamping uh, these interviews because a lot is happening as we go through this uh, really uh, interesting time in our history as a yeah. Uh, you know, it's, I don't mind time and date stamping this. It just feels like it's end of May and it feels like summer has finally arrived and it, it really lifts the spirits, right? It does completely. And I think for me, um, there are a lot of people, I remember when I first got to Canada and I just couldn't believe how long the winter was. And so the minute that first day comes, you know, when you walk outside and that ice cold air doesn't go over your chest, it's like yes. this moist, warm air. Yes. I promise you, you just got to make the most of it. So you stay up as late as possible. You do as much as you can, right? Yeah. When the sun's shining. But that all, you know, all of a sudden you become a gardener where you never thought you were a gardener. And it's <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, but uh, tell me a little bit more about yourself, Andrea. Um, blogger. You, mm. you, you blog or do you still blog? Because I know for a fact that, yeah, you, you, you do a lot of beautiful YouTube videos. So do those mix? Do you do both still or is it more? YouTube? Thanks. You know, I, um, when I, I started my blog, actually that was the baby. And I just thought, you know what? A blog is cool because I had a journal and I was journaling every day. I thought, you know, I don't want to forget anything about my journey and all the funny things. There were so many funny moments that we would be crying, laughing in the car with my daughters about just driving on the wrong side of the road or the right side you know, discovering weird stuff at Tim Hortons and, and just weird stuff. And then I thought, you know what? People said to me, you should put it down in paper and put it down as a blog. And I was like, okay. So I started this blog. I'm not really a writer. I write like I speak. So grammar is completely out of the window. I start sentences with so and because, and yeah. I don't care. So people read my blog and then a friend said to me, you know what? you are so good in front of camera and TV and your personality is larger than life. What the heck's wrong with you? Why are you writing? Rather yeah. do YouTube videos. There's so many people who do blogs, but there's so many people who can't YouTube. And I was nervous. I was just like, oh my word, like I'm over 40. Why am I a YouTuber? And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do my first one. And I did my first video and I thought, you know, if I get, can you imagine if I get 20 subscribers, I will be so stoked and excited about that. And it was just like a little thing. And I promise you, it was like within a week or two weeks, I had 20 subscribers. And I remember after the first month or two, I think it was like 50 subscribers yeah, that's awesome. and it just grew. And I realized, oh my gosh, there are people out there that want to hear what I've got to say. And I think the big thing was, there's a lot of information out there for people who want to come to Canada. They want to hear your story and it's overwhelming. There's so much stuff in cyberspace that you can read. And if you can connect with somebody face to face, mm. it makes a massive difference. The accent is South African. Yes. Um, I'm telling it like it is. I'm like, Hey guys, there are challenges. I'm kind of being real about it. Like if you want to hear what they are, this is what it is. And so the following grew and now I'm like over, I'm like, I think it's 1.1 K followers. I love I, making I remember, videos. It didn't feel like long ago that you went over a thousand, which I yeah. was super stoked about. Um, I mean, I have a YouTube channel. I've only recently started giving it the attention that it deserves in this yeah. age, in this day and age. And I, a thousand is, I can't even fathom it. So that's, that's yeah, it's, 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 it's quite amazing. I realized that. And you know what else? I think that's been just so cool for me. I don't make money from the YouTube videos. Hmm. You know, like you actually can't make money as a YouTuber unless you hit over a thousand subscribers and there are many other prerequisites. So for me, I do it because I love it and it's helping people. The feedback that I get is so positive. I've never had one negative person like ever say that's trash. The information's awful or whatever. I think people are very appreciative. I mean, I've got a, it's amazing. South Africans from all over that connect with me on Facebook and then ask questions. And then I'm busy every day with messenger, Facebook, email, 
and so stuff. So yeah, the so many platforms to take into account. I mean, I I, I have a similar situation. Obviously, not as okay. bad as yours, but you know, I find that I can easily get to the end of the day and think, oh my goodness, I haven't looked at WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger or yeah. And then you miss stuff. You feel like you're unresponsive, or you, you, yes. But it's it's a lot, you know. So you must be jumping between platforms all day long, just chatting to people. I am. I'm okay. worse than my I'm worse than my kids. I'm addicted to my phone. I admit. When I do, like you know, it tells you what your screen time is at the end of the yes. day. You I don't even have, you up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have guilt about it anymore. I'm like, you know what, kids? This is my business. This is what yes. mom does. Yes, but mom um, helps people. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So I think, yeah, like I'm on Instagram, which is great. Um, and Instagram, I'm sure, you know, it, uh, it talks to a completely different audience at yeah. times because Instagrammers are kind of millennials and then maybe some adult are like older than millennials, but no, yes. Um, uh, it's my preferred me, platform. I just, I, I love it. I, I, I love IG and I did my first IG TV video the other day. So I'm getting into it. Yeah, so, and then Facebook, my kids tell me it's for old people, but it's, it's not. Generally, people love Facebook because it's a way to connect all the platforms and groups. You cannot have a group option on Instagram. You so that's why it's great. Because I, I posted this morning for the first time in a very, very long time on Facebook because I wanted my mom uh, to know that I posted. I do post on my Facebook page and yes. on Instagram, but I nearly never post on Facebook. My wife will tag me and then I post the fact that yes but, but i but i i did some uh, gardening yesterday and so i felt i wanted to tag my mom in it so does that make me like young at heart that i'm only on instagram <laughs> yes Thanks. totally you're a total millennial there you go seriously young at heart you don't you did it the other thing it. if you haven't got it yet pictures is um i'm also on pinterest and that's a whole new ball game and i I absolutely love it. The algorithms are insane on Pinterest. They're, I've got a lot of views okay. um, and Pinterest is really fantastic. I guess all of the social media is about people looking at whatever they can. People are desperate in South Africa or in other countries to come yeah. to Canada yeah, they and they will search and scour all media to get information. People are desperate for information and they need it from people that are real, that are talking to them, whether it's on Instagram and beautiful photos or on YouTube uh, videos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, my social media manager, who I do have to have because there's so many platforms to look at and make sure that you cover everything, has been mentioning Pinterest yeah. to me, but I'm not there yet. I'm not on TikTok either. I don't think I will go on to TikTok anytime soon. Don't do it. Um, my kids are like, Mom, don't do it, and I won't do it. I've no. danced privately yes. in my kitchen. Yeah. There's enough to keep us busy. Yeah, it's LinkedIn, yes. LinkedIn, Instagram, Instagram stories, Instagram TV. It's the Facebook page, Facebook, Google My yeah. Business. It's enough. YouTube, lots. No, yeah. exactly. And also, I think like even for you and your business, you don't want to kind of lose track of no. really the main aim of what you're doing. You need to be talking to people. You need to be talking about property, what's happening yeah. in the market, and focus on that. And Sometimes you can, it, you can, it runs away with you. I've burned so many meals on Facebook. So I've had to really challenge myself and go, the minute somebody talks to me, I actually literally have to look up, put my phone yeah. down and then move on. So yeah, it's, it's quite a challenge, but yeah, I love my phone. Love it, love it. Okay, and then so tell us a little bit more about yoga. You're a yoga teacher, which means that you would have done yoga for a while, then decided to be a teacher and... It, it's 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 actually wild. it's actually the most bizarre story i mean in cape town uh, when we lived in south africa i come from a corporate sales background i, w I worked for a construction company um and i absolutely dug my job I had an awesome boss fabulous bunch of people and um i just couldn't see myself getting into corporate again into canada i had a couple of interviews and I would look at the job descriptions and go, oh, I'm not worthy. I don't know if I can do this. I haven't worked for two years. Like all this kind of self-doubt. I think it's pretty normal. Like if you haven't worked for a while, it's like a different, different market. You know, will people understand me? And my husband would look at me and go, are you crazy? Of course you can do the job. But I just realized, you know what? I think moving countries gave me a second chance at life. Like a whole new opportunity. I could do anything. I could go study again. Um, because it was okay, any university would kind of take me. Um, just so much opportunity. And I got super excited. I started doing yoga. Uh, I streamed it 
on YouTube because it was snowing and I didn't realize that you could actually run uh, in the snow. I was like, I can't run. It's too cold. Yeah. So I started streaming yoga. I'd never done yoga in my life until I got to Canada. Wow. And, the, um, and then I went to a yoga studio and I did some yoga. It was a great little studio in Mississauga. And within a year, they were saying to me, the yogis there, uh, I think you need to be a teacher. And I was like, well, I don't mind doing the course. Maybe I won't be a teacher, but for me to refine my yoga, also something to do. Let me just do it. Yeah. And I did it. And the week before I qualified, a month before I qualified, I was already teaching in people's basements for free to get training. Yes. And I haven't stopped. Um, I absolutely love it. And now my bus- I was teaching at a studio in Oakville on Co Street, opposite uh, Barita Central Coffee Shop. Yes. And, um, and then COVID hit. And I was like, what am I going to do? So I've taken the whole thing online. I teach live yoga, a full 60-minute session, three wow. times a week. Wow. And I created a store on my blog where people purchase my classes. It's an honesty system. So you don't pay and book a class. You pay and you do three classes, and then you pay again. And it works super well. I mentioned that to you in a previous conversation. To me, it's energy exchange. You, you yeah. totally, you know, not to have everything for free. Yeah. And plus, you won't really put everything into it, in my belief. That's my belief, you know. Yes. So it's a good, good thing that you charge a little bit. And yeah, it's buy, great. And, and I think also, it, you know? yeah, 100%. And I think that the, my paying yogi students, the people who pay are the people who do the work. Yes. If you don't pay, people are... Exactly. So it forces people into coming to yoga. So, yeah, I teach on um, Tuesday mornings, Thursday nights, and Saturday mornings. And it's working well. Petrus, I'm getting so fit. Yes. Because I'm forced to exercise and do a full three hours a week. I do actually four hours because I do an extra class for myself to get up to speed with certain things. But, yeah, it's... um, it's so good for me. And I think it, I think also it puts me into a routine, which is so nice. I don't know. I'm very happy. I'm very happy yeah. to be doing this online thing. That yeah, works like a charm. Yeah. I know that studio because my daughter does a little bit of, uh, or did a little bit of uh, stuff. There was Selena. Yeah. So. Yes, I know. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. It's fantastic. It's the way to go. Yeah. And so you guys, did you, when you arrived, did you come straight to Oakville? Um, actually we stayed in downtown for a month. We were very lucky. Kev was actually transferred through his company and they gave us a condo, just like a three story little block uh, for a month and a car. And we had to find our feet within a month and we searched everywhere. And it's so embarrassing. I think we looked at over 50, five hour houses. The poor realtor was probably going to, he was like, okay, we need to do tough love with these people. They are weird, but you know, you land in winter and every house looks dark and gloomy. And mm. when you come from South Africa, you can't make up your mind. You're like, where are all the windows? We want a house with lots of light and sunshine. Well, yes. when you land in winter, it's something that you really need to think about. It's like, yes. it's not going to be like that. Yes. And it took us a while. And eventually, we headed for Oakville. We had been to Markham, to Bourne, to you name it. We'd looked all over. Yes. Ended up in Oakville because my daughter was really good at field hockey. And the Holton region has amazing field hockey opportunities. Okay. Uh, the clubs here are really, really cool. And we kind of, yeah, we just thought, yeah, suburbia, the whole vibe. I don't know what it is and why there's so many South Africans here, but I Oakville mean, was where we were going to end up. It's like a vortex at this stage. It's sucking all the South Africans, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I know. So, yeah. yeah, we love it. No, it's lovely. I must say... Um, and more and more uh, South Africans coming. And uh, obviously there's a few things put on halt now for a lot of uh, South yeah. Africans that would have been here already, but lovely town. And there's a reason why it's been voted the uh, most livable city in Canada a few times now, as recent as last year as well. So it's totally. an awesome place to live in. It is. And I think for us, like Kev, my husband can drop his stand-up paddleboard right down there at the Oakville whatever you call it, the harbor yeah. or right at the yeah. lighthouse, it, the yeah. boathouse is there. Yeah. So you can uh, do stand up paddle boarding along 16 mile Creek. And that's a lot like, I mean, he's a sofa, so it's tough for him yes. uh, to be able to do the lake thing where it doesn't yes. smell like salt, yes. but there are ways to do life. And I think it's just very accessible in Oakville. Yeah. It's amazing. Cause my, um, when I will go back to the office or well, my office is right there. So I park, if you can oh. do this, 
right there where there's a guy that does training on paddle boarding um, and he my parking is right there uh under the bridge basically for uh, going over lake shore so on the harbor yeah, yeah. Like three meters away from the water and there's one gentleman i kid you not andrea that goes out every single day of the year yeah. even in the yeah. winter so he goes out with a dry suit every day he does that and he's amazing in the he must be like 65 he looks like he's a 35 year old guy he's yeah he's awesome hardcore he's probably <laughs> south african joking <laughs> could be <laughs> but it's amazing he goes out every day and he and he also teaches and so forth so um I sure could, that's cool yeah, no, i'm does. sure kevin will probably know him because <laughs> you know they yeah, if you're down there a lot it's day. really cool yeah it's cool to see that when i park there in the mornings before going to the office there's in the summer especially there's going to be a lot of people on the water and just enjoying opal life it's it's a great yeah to it's beautiful at. man yeah okay well that's been great chatting to you today it's awesome uh i we need to go and enjoy some of the great weather outside um yes it's it's, it's awful uh to uh have too many things lined up too many zoom meetings and so forth so i'm gonna to have to try and wind down on those uh, <laughs> this weather improves but uh, good stuff I spoke earlier just before the call it's pollen season at the moment so it looks like yeah. somebody's throwing aromat outside it's so it's bad it's a lot so i know it's bad a day or two of that and then we'll be able to enjoy outside a little bit more. i know and uh, i mean even for those south africans out there i was talking the other day you can get no spray flow mist from south africa yes. works like a bomb you start with that every day and you take yes. reactant or claritine because yeah. dude at night you get like cotton wool in your head no, but in, not, hey did you see what time the sun set last night uh, was i was I just i was i was like kev i'm so tired i've been in the sun all day at nine eight forty five. i think the sun starts to set but like nine o'clock just it's still not totally dark it's, it's like so a, awesome it's like cape town in the sun i know Crazy. it's so great listen thanks for inviting me to the call Pleasure. i appreciate it and awesome uh, yeah. thanks a lot we'll see each other soon thanks eh? yeah fantastic cheers